an ancient alien defense system and structures in Siberia. In northwestern Siberia, in the upper Viliu River Basin, there is a hard-to-reach area that bears the marks of a tremendous cataclysm that took place a few hundred years ago. It knocked down all the forest cover and scattered rock fragments over hundreds of square kilometers. The old name for this area is Uliui Cherchekichek, which translates to the Valley of Death, as locals who venture into the area can hardly make it out alive. According to the stories of the locals distrib distributed throughout the area were the uh, mysterious metallic objects located deep in the permafrost. These are shaped like calderas, like cauldrons, large iron houses implanted in the permanently frozen ground. They appear to be made of metal similar to copper in appearance, but unlike copper, cannot be scratched or damaged. Nobody has been able to cut even a fragment of this off. Some of these cauldrons have an opening at the top with a spiral staircase leading to a circular gallery with several chambers inside. Despite 40 degrees outside, hunters say the inside is pleasantly warm. The locals are unaware of its origin, but they know very well how dangerous it is to approach metallic structures. In fact, they report some of the effects that cauldrons had on surrounding vegetation and on the bodies of people who have been stationed near them for a long time. Some stories tell of some daring hunters who spent the night in these metal rooms using them as shelter. Once back among their people, the hunters seem to have contracted a strange disease and those who had spent more than one night in a row soon died after that. Now for this reason, the elders of the local tribes declared these areas cursed and therefore prohibited. The first indirect evidence of the domes dates back to 1853 when Richard Mack, a well-known Russian explorer, anthropologist and geographer, one of the first to venture into the far east of Russia and Siberia, said in his reports this, in Suntar, a settlement of Yakuts, I'm told that on the upper reaches of the Vilyev River, there's a huge metal dome sunk into the ground. Its size is unknown because only the circle emerged from the ground is visible. Something similar would say in 1989, Dmitry Arkhipov, an expert anthropologist in the Yakut culture. Among the population of the Viliu Basin, there is a legend that goes back to ancient times that there are huge bronze domes or olgus in the upper part of that river. In 1936, on the banks of the Olgudak, meaning place with the cauldron river, a geologist led by elderly natives stumbled upon a hemisphere of smooth reddish, reddish metal jutting out of the ground with a sharp edge uh, it would, I would cut a nail. And the, its walls were about two centimeters thick and it protruded from the ground about a fifth of its diameter. And according to the official report, it was possible to see inside the dome through a hole in the back. Among the most accurate reports is that of Mikhail Koreki of Vladivostok, who in 1996 sent a letter to the Trude newspaper claiming to have been in to, to Death Valley three times. Koreki claimed to have seen seven domes between six and nine meters in diameter. On his last visit to the domes, Koreki and his friends spent the night in one of these domes. Although nothing in particular happened that night, in the following days, one of his friends found himself losing almost all of his hair, while Koreki developed two small post pustules on his cheek that never healed. In 1971, an old hunter belonging to the Evenk people had said that in the area between two rivers known as Niugu Butor, or Champion of Fire, and Ata Darak, placed with a three-sided harpoon, protrudes from the ground which uh, gave its name to the place a three-sided iron harpoon, quite large. While in the area between the two rivers known as Kelyugur, or Iron People, there is an iron burrow in which strange, thin, black-skinned, one-eyed beings clad in some sort of iron suit lie asleep.
Let me say that again. Strange, thin, black-skinned, one-eyed beings clad in some sort of iron suit lie asleep. He said you could keep, you could take people there that it's, it was not far, but one, no one believed him. Sometime later, though, he died. Yakui legend about the Valley of Death in Yakut region here contains many references to explosions, whirlwinds, and huge blazing balls of fire. And all these phenomena are associated in one way or another with the mysterious metal constructions, these domes found in the Valley of Death in this uh, Siberia region. Some of them are large round iron houses that are supported by numerous lateral supports. They have no windows or doors, just a spacious manhole at the top of the dome. Some of them have almost completely sunk into the permafrost, leaving only a barely noticeable arc-shaped protrusion on the surface. Unknown witnesses describe these resounding metal houses in the same way. Other objects scattered around the area are concave metal lids that contain something unknown. About every six or seven centuries, a monstrous ball of fire shoots out from there and flies off somewhere in the distance. And judging by the chronicles and legends of other towns nearby, sometimes it explodes directly over its point of departure, as a result of which the area for hundreds of kilometers around is reduced to a desolate, uh, a desolate desert, a desert. Russian ufologists have proposed several theories about this valley of death and the domes. The most intriguing is from Russian researcher Valery Yuvarov, and he says that Siberia's mysterious domes may be an ancient weapon built by aliens to protect our planet from any external dangers such as meteorites or hostile alien forces. Yuvarov is convinced that the extraterrestrial defense system has come into operation several times in the last hundred years. One of them was in 1908, shooting down the famous Tunguska meteorite. When the Soviet military surveyed the area, they reported finding fallen trees for thousands of miles around the blast site, but found no craters. If those massive metallic structures buried in Siberian soil really exist, could it be that these so-called cauldrons serve as a kind of anti-aircraft weapon against space threats? Or will they have another very different and obscure use that we have not yet discovered? Who created them and why? Russia's Valley of Death remains a mystery to scientists, researchers, and adventurers. And while many suggest these stories are exaggerated, some believe there is some truth to them. No extensive research has been done in the area, and what little research has been done has remained classified far from the eyes of society. The secrets of the Siberian Death Valley are dark and shrouded in mystery, and investigating them is not without risk. From the deepest part of the region's history, something is hidden in this murky region, and its secrets, it seems, will remain hidden for a very long time. And this is on Mysterious Society by Zach White. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.